Welcome to Nursing School Explained in this video on the grading of edema. If you haven't already done so, please check out my video where I actually demonstrate how to appropriately assess for lower extremity edema. Now, first of all, why do we assess for edema? So that, that edema basically just means swelling. And we have to distinguish if, whether it is pitting or non-pitting. And pitting meaning that when we press down on the skin and we let go, that an indentation is left. And that is pitting edema. Now that usually means that there is fluid that is underneath the skin that has seeped out of the intravascular space and is now sitting in that interstitial space for whatever reason. Now reasons could be heart issues such as heart failure, liver disease, maybe some injury, maybe some lymphedema. So there are a variety of reasons, but it's not our job to determine why this is going on. It's just a helpful clinical tool to see what's going on with the patient. And when the edema is pitting, meaning that there is this indentation left, then we we're, we're have a certain scale and we're gonna describe the edema based on that scale. So it goes from plus one to plus four. And a plus one means that the indentation that we leave with our fingers is two millimeters, but it resolves pretty quickly or immediately. If there's a plus two edema, then that indentation that we create is three to four millimeters in diameter, and it takes a few seconds to resolve. A plus three, five to six millimeters, so a pretty significant amount, and takes about 10 to 20 seconds to go away. And a plus four pitting edema is greater than six millimeters and takes more than 20 seconds to go away. And six millimeters is a little more than a half centimeter. So if you can see your whole fingerprint there and it doesn't go away, that typically means that it's a plus four. So um, a very helpful or, or important clinical tool to, for us to know. And then this is how you would chart it. Plus one pitting edema to bilateral lower extremities, extending to mid shin, for example. So keep that in mind when you assess your patient for edema, pitting versus non-pitting and the grading scale. Thanks for watching. See you soon.